Definitely All right, so we got Mickle and Jester. Definite shout out to Truth, making it out of pools with Michelle. Survival. All right. This is going to be Jester and Mickle. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen these two play. I don't think I have personally. Um, it's possible they have. Like, I mean, our scene's big, but it's not that big. Yeah, no. Mickle comes out a lot. Yeah. So, I'm assuming we're going to be seeing Fox Sheik. Yeah, unless something has yeah, changed. I assume so. Um, reasonably even matchup, I think. Sheik does win, obviously. Yeah, um, Fox is such a good character, though. He is. I think Fox is. He's got the mobility, he's got the kill options. The damage racking. Yeah. Just the offstage game is a little bit. Eh. Yeah. But, you know, it really takes a lot of precision to take advantage of that. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, it's, it's useless. So. Well, because that's the thing with Firefox, though, is that it's got such a big hitbox on it <laughs> yeah. that if you're not spaced properly, it's so easy to just clank. Yeah, or just and, get hit by it. Yeah. Even you know, uh, side B, it's so fast. Like, the, yeah, there's actually a. Because what I used to do with Bowser Jr. is I would do like drop zone nair or right. forward air. But uh, the thing is that uh, because none of those those moves are like weak, like you hit them with the weak hit right. with the drop zone. And just because the hitbox on the up B is so big, a lot yeah. of the time you just clank with it and you don't actually yeah. hit the fox. Yeah. And even though those moves are super disjointed, it's not enough. No, and, uh, you know, Luma actually can't hit Fox out of Firefox from with back air. Wow. It always clanks, so it has wow. to be a Rosalina's. So stuff like that, which makes it much harder to head guard, but it looked really free. Uh, not so. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. I would have assumed you just like fall off in back air and yeah. that's that. But a bunch of times you try to run off back air, you need to hit with Rose's head, I guess, because huh. it's transcendent, I guess. Yeah. So. All right, so you see Sheik Fox coming out. Um, I'm guessing Mikkel's going to be looking for a big stage. Jester's going to be looking for a smaller stage. So I think Jester is more of a defensive sheet, if I recall. Yes. Um, I, I recall he some definitely stories is. about this, uh, this particular sheet. Fun fact, I timed him out once. You timed him out? Yes. Um, <laughs> he beat me in that set, though, so I'm not I'm was, not bragging, but it was funny. This could be a, this could be a timeout type of set, then. You know, it's possible. The kind of person yeah, he's, uh, he's known for like really, really heavy bait and punish. And yeah. if you don't fall for the base, he just won't go in. Yeah, exactly. Him and Kevin Long went to time last time I watched it. Mikkel essentially timing himself out in that instance, actually. Yeah, Kevin Long taking Yeah, that's, um, that's a big problem with being hyper-defensive, is yeah. that if you don't know how to switch gears, yeah. then you're like, oh, I'm behind. Or like even when you're even, yeah. you don't know how to turn on... like and turn on the fire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, you need true. to. Especially when you're like, oh, yeah, there's a minute left, and 20% behind, yeah. you got to go in a little bit, and then you just you lose that. It's not close at all. Yeah. yeah. All right, so... All right, final destination. Final destination. Uh, Okay, fair enough. Three, Good stage two, for both these characters. One, can they really argue? Go. They have insane foot speed. Yeah, I'm really surprised we didn't see Needle and Laser come out right away. From yeah. <laughs> but alright. Alright, first hit goes to Fox. Good 30%. Good 31. Oh, he breaks out of that with an up tilt. Right on. Well, Congrats. it's a Fox's fast fall speed and the fact he had like 0%. Yeah. Made Congrats. that kind of unsafe. Oh. Classic sheet combos. Ooh, weird F smash. Yeah. Not sure if he was going for a reader, that was a miss input. Either way, he'll eat it to after Yeah, exactly. Ooh, misses the bear. I wonder if that's a... Uh... Oh, good nice roll. Speed. Yeah. Patented Mikkel side beyond Yeah. Page. Keeps getting with his rapid jabs. No Trump. Jester comes back on stage. Is Fox back here Trump true? Uh, I'm not sure if it's true. It is? Okay, Blackfoot sure. is giving us the nod. Okay, yeah. He's going to be within enough time for it. Knows. Yeah, it feels like one of the more precise trumps, though. Yeah. Like, so, just need to hang on to this dog for even just a little bit longer. Uh, build up a bit more percent on Mikkel. I would like to see him camp with Mikkel out a little bit more, to be honest. I yeah. Think needles are pretty good against rocks, I think. What's he going to do? Yeah. He has to run in. Now, at this percent, it'll start to pop Fox up in the air. Exactly. As well. Really oh, good. gets the running up smash. It's really what you want. Classic Mikkel. So, uh, fairly aggressive play from Mikkel so far. Yeah, I Kind mean, of uncharacteristic. I'm surprised by both of them. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I respect oh. the upbeat yeah. but uh, a little bit You have to not DI'ing out of that rapid. Yeah. That very well. Takes uh, 20% for that up B edge guard attempt. Needle barely missing. Fast fall. Oh, what? I kind of like oh, that. Fade yeah. back, death smash. Very committal, but. Okay. I mean, it's only a dumb option if it doesn't work. Yeah, there you go. Uh, 
I want to see oh, Jester. Oh, he keeps getting with the weak nares. I want to see Jester go off stage a bit more against Mikkel. Yeah. You know, that's where Fox struggles, particularly against Sheik. Exactly. He's doing very well on stage, I would say. Oh, that's going to do it, though. Very good. I want to see him go off stage a bit more, you know, mess up Fox off stage as he's trying to recover, challenge that side B. I think Mikkel did that thing where, you know, the up air's coming, right. and so you buffer a jump, but you mess up the buffer, and so nothing happens. <laughs> Bad deal. Because then you just look silly, right? Yeah, exactly. Because there's no way he didn't know he was going for an up air there. Okay, very good. Just so not connecting another forward there. Seems to be uh, missing a few of those bread and butter sheet combos. Definitely needs to yeah. get those down. Um, yeah. That's true. Mikkel's been getting out of everything. Rabbit jab of his own, but he SD, er, SDI's it properly. Yep. Oh, good job making it back to stage there. Yeah, good spacing uh, to get around that up smash, yeah. or up smash but it doesn't punish, unfortunately, when he spaces it. You don't realize how leggy Fox's up smash is until you do it yourself. <laughs> it's true. And it's like, oh, I can't act for like the next six oh, years. this should be a gift. Please. Oh. Okay, I mean, he went for it. Yeah. He missed the second back. Yeah, that's okay. This is back to even, more or less. Yeah. Like Both characters that essentially kill percent. Oh, he goes for a bit of a greedy down smash. Yeah, uh, Jester does a lot of smash attacks, actually. A lot more than a lot of she players. Oh. Jab, jab, up smash. I'm mad that that still works, but hey. It, I don't think it does. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. No. But, uh... Another F smash. Oh, that F smash is so weak. Good timing there, but just not enough. Yeah, Jester definitely goes for a, very, a lot of those very committal kill options. Yeah. Uh, a little bit too often, I think. And he's suffering a bit for it. But this... Yeah. Not oh, not quite. Sheep too weak. Yeah, this Mikkel might be not catching on. I understand that he's scared and he doesn't want to. Uh, he doesn't want to let Mikkel live a lot longer than he needs to. But um, like going for the super Camille kill options isn't working out for him. I like what Jester tried there. Unfortunately, yeah. the space didn't need a little bit of a combo from Mikkel there. Good yeah, that was pretty decent with the, the fast fall forward air into the down smash. No, I'm actually mad impressed how many of these kill moves he's just raw hitting on Mikkel. Yeah. Like, I feel like if he just stopped doing them so often, just made those reads when they counted, yeah, he would exactly. profit him so much more. Yeah. Not many players can make those kinds of reads so consistently. Yeah. It's just raw F smash. I know, yeah. Oh, gets him with the full rapid jab. Oh, oh okay. That was almost something, but my good hands are going to help Mikkel out a little bit. All right. 30% deficit for Jester here. Not unsurmountable. Definitely no. not. Mikkel, not happy with us saying that though. Oh, and nice. closing out the game right there. Pretty bit weird up there, but alright, it works. Yeah, I got him with just the second hit. Yeah. Man, Fox is silly sometimes. <laughs> I mean, both these characters. Yeah. Shoutouts to Mikkel's new sponsor, Gunners. No comment. All right, so I wonder where we're gonna go game three. I'm as or game two, sorry. That's only game one. Um, FD or Smashville, I assume. I mean, Smashville, I feel like is the smart pick, you know. Yeah. If it's not banned. Yeah. Get Fox off stage. That's really the name of that game. Uh, and we see it. And uh, like the platform extending, it really telegraphs Fox's recovery, I find. Whereas for Sheik's, not so much because of the. Uh, she can like fake that she's going for the ledge and go for the platform, or vice versa. Right. Whereas with Fox, it's like, okay, no, he's going to do this one thing because it's very clear. And uh, that's definitely a huge boon for Sheik in this. I sort of like that Jester's not always going for the bouncing fish type of stuff. You know, yeah. A lot of the time it doesn't work out or he barely misses stuff, but you know, I, I think there's definitely something to be said for not always bouncing fishing out of it. Yeah, exactly. So, not good for that. Oh, wait. yep. Now oh, Jester having a bit of a lead in this game, actually. A lot of back rolls coming out. Yeah. I'm trying to bait. Capitalizes for it. I'm also hoping that one thing that Jester starts to realize is Mikkel, you know, whenever he does something punishable, top smash, particularly rapid jab, yeah. uh, he tends to slot dodge when Jester runs up. Yeah, exactly. So just, you know, run up, wait for the spot dodge, and punish with anything. Yeah. She's got a few moves that last a long time. <laughs> yeah. Second hit at F smash is great for that. Yep. Even just you know run up wait for it and grab yeah, exactly. or something, you know, something oh. pretty non-committal. Yeah, Mikkel's having issues getting off that platform whenever he gets stuck on it. Oh very again, but great. That'll close it out. Okay. Really, these reads are really phenomenal by Jester. I thought he was gonna get the balloon, I was excited. Yeah. Up throw. Or F throw up. Yeah. Interesting combos. 
I don't know why he doesn't just go for Bouncing Fish. Yeah, I feel like, you know, this is how much you would have gotten off of yeah, exactly. one Bouncing Fish. I can respect it, but only so much, you know? Yeah. Oh. I think he has a read on that. Just, yeah. Uh, I think there's also no need to be going for an F-Smash. Yeah, yeah like exactly. Fun, so. when you're not going to kill. Yeah, F-Tilt will do as much damage when you consider the combo yeah. potential. Oh, get the Power Shield punish for it. Oh, man, I'm really oh wow, double. <laughs> Two spot dodges there in a row. They both worked. No damage on Demichel now at 69. Not able to Jester close kind of running away with this. I mean, yeah. one up smash will kill. One F smash will kill from Fox. Oh, wow, that was really risky. That was super risky. Great grab. That level of confidence, though, sometimes that's what wins you the game. It's true. Oh, spot dodge. Oh, no, he falls out of the wow. second hit. Yeah, definitely too far away for F-Smash to connect. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, F-Smash will connect close that out, yeah. F-Smash will take out Jester's stock, but he's gained a lot of credit on that stock. Yeah. A whole 108% now. Uh, he's got a lot to work with. He can just land one of those patented kill moves. Yeah. Those Jester kill options. Oh, that was interesting. Crazy SDI, not sure if intentional. Yeah. That should... Oh, not quite. Not wow. quite. It was stale though. Oh, forward air though. Forehead Not a lot of a DI like, from Nickel <laughs> on that one. Nickel tapping his forehead. Like, why did I let myself? Back? Yeah. Yeah, he's not going for bouncing fish ever. Oh, footstool. Back air from Nickel. Oh, the one time he goes for it, the platform is there. Yeah. Nickel. Okay. There we go. Works. Yeah, the the end leg on that gun is nuts. Yeah, Michael doing a good job keeping even uh, yeah. now with Jester. That's not what he needs at this point. Nickel playing very stationary. He's kind of standing in spot and spot dodging when he needs to, shielding when he needs to. Whereas uh, Jester is all over the place. Yeah, you know, I feel like it's kind of like what you're saying about truth. You know, when he moves, it's very deliberate. Yeah, uh, and that's not always a good thing. Especially the character is fast as Fox. Yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. Oh, my oh God. that's not going to be enough. Damn, I don't know if I've ever seen I don't, that yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean... No jump from Jester there. Whatever the reason, this has become a lot more interesting all of a sudden. Yeah. Great Nair. Yeah, Jester was like a full stock ahead. Not anymore. 76% still nothing to sneeze at, but... Uh, definitely something that Fox can bring back. It's all that kill potential. Oh. oh. Let's see. The dash attack is a little weird. Oh, I don't know if that was on Very good. Oh! There's we're going to game three, folks. Man, that was a, so much more of a solid game by Jester. Yeah. Than we saw in game maybe one. Maybe no I don't know if he needed to warm up, get the reads, yeah, or maybe it was just the stage pick. Yeah, the stage pick, I think, made a big helped. difference. But uh, he played very solid that game. He did. He landed so many hard read kill moves. Yeah, whereas in the first game, a lot of them hit shield. Yeah. Yeah. This time, there was only a couple that didn't, like, take a stock for it. Yeah, he, uh, a lot of times he caught Mikkel dropping shield. Um, yeah. But they were just, you know, unfortunate timing, or he had to read on the shield drop, I'm not sure, but uh, crazy stuff. All right, going to game three, wow. Yeah. Uh, I would assume we want a bigger stage for Mikkel now. And yeah. There's a plethora of those to choose I, from. My guess is, oh, actually, I don't know. I don't want to say something stupid. Yeah, I, well, I feel like big stage is good, right? They can't yeah. go back to FG because Dave's stupid. Right. Cool. And Duck Hunt, I think, should be the band. Battlefield? So, oh, we're going Battlefield. Makes sense. Yeah. Like Battlefield. Um, so Mikkel not able to pick either of the really big stages, the flat to run away on. We'll have to go to the battlefield. Something pretty neutral. Uh, see what happens in game three. What's your prediction here? Um, Who do you got? Who's your two bucks on? <laughs> I don't know, man. Your theoretical two bucks. Uh, my theoretical two bucks. We'll see, though, because Mikkel tends to get shook. And so I think losing that game can like put him in a really negative mindset. Like, yeah, in a more extreme way than a lot of people. But, um, I don't know, I think, uh, with, from what I've been seeing platform play-wise, Jester is superior. Yes, for platforms, I think, for sure. So, yeah, based on that, seeing, uh, how well he uses the platforms, I think I would give the edge to Jester, on this stage specifically. Yeah, this, I think Jester making a lot of reads, we're not really capitalizing yeah. on them. Uh, one instance where he's tech skill. A bit of tech skill practice could be in order. Yeah. You know, this is not a technical game, but that doesn't mean that you can just be lazy with tech. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Nickel sharking really hard. 
just looking a little shook, needs to bring back that confidence that he had. Uh, Game Freedom brought so much success. Nickel throwing a lot of nares out into shield. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. Um, I don't know if that's just him assuming like he can be aggro, but uh, I don't know. He's he's in a lot of percent for it. Yeah, it's not like it's been super safe, you know. Yeah. Jab jab. It's worked a couple of times, and I think it's in his mindset that it's like, oh, this is a thing that works. Smash also, yeah, we saw everywhere. two forward smashes and an up smash whiff there. Everyone whipping all their things. Oh, Jester remembering. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out of this. Yeah. Gets another couple needles. A lot of back rolls. Nickel, not quite a kill percent for any of Sheik's stuff yet. Oh, uh, gets him with the down air into up smash. The Titan's a full hot down air up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Looking. Doesn't get punished for it, though. Oh, I think uh, Jester went in for the grab there. Mickle just grabbed him right yeah. out of it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know how uh, useful that gun is. I can Sheik, I just I feel like it isn't. No knockback. She's got needles. Exactly. Oh, no, uh, no punish on that. Down tilt. Side beat. Down tilt would have probably closed up that stock. Mickle not really falling for a lot of these, uh, just, you know, drop shield into some sort of kill attack. Up That'll air. end it, though. That's three times Barely. I think now. We've seen Mickle just kind of fall into one of those jump yeah. up airs. I'd like to see him at least just jump away or air yeah. dodge or something, you know. Mickle landing every time there. I know he's got, like, the hard landing, but. Four frames is still like not enough for you to not be able to hold shield. Yeah, definitely. No SDI again on the jab. Dash attack not able to connect. Good tech. And a grab punish. Oh, I guess what side B. Yeah, I think he kind of saw that coming. Yeah. Just his base it. That's one thing that's definitely always interesting to watch. You know, some matchups change from mid to high to top level play. Yeah, exactly. It's like Fox. I feel like one of those characters, like with Cloud, you know, he's quite easy to pick up, I think, on the mid level or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's only once you really get to that high top level, people can really start punishing the things that make it exactly. weaker, and you're starting yeah. to struggle. So, you know, and Sheik's kind of the opposite, I feel like. Yeah, you know what, I can see that. Like, especially, I assume, because you're talking about, like, side B yeah, as side an B example. example yeah. And uh, we're at, like, low level play, it's, like, it's an incredible escape option, it's an incredible yeah. approach option, people don't know how to punish it. Yep. And then, uh, the better you get, like, the more confident your opponents, yep. the less that becomes actually a thing. Yeah, exactly. And then at like elite level, like very top level play, it becomes an option again because it's so bad. So, yeah, exactly. So it's always interesting to see how that kind of evolves. Yeah. You know, I feel like that's what we're seeing here. You see Jesse's creating a lot of opportunities, getting Mikkel off stage a lot, and winning neutral more you know, than you might otherwise think in yeah. the matchup. It's but. the second time he's done that. Oh, see, down smash. Again. Just not able to take advantage of a few of those super critical things that Fox uh, sort of relies on. Fox dodge read, and we met him, second hit of F-Smash. And again, not really anything doing there on the sort of obvious side B back to the stage. I think Mikkel's just seeing it now. He just yeah, yeah. He just side B for free. Yeah, exactly. And that might be uh, the thing that does Jester in in the end. Oh, you get a back air into dash attack. Got, uh... Oh, not gonna kill quite yet, but though. Again, that uh, huge, huge ceiling. Oh! Great. Read. Wow. All right. Dodge. Nope. All right. We're so, here. Last stock game 60 three. Sixty percent deficit to make up for Jester here. Yeah. Nickel not, with a decent lead. Not, not terrible, but yeah, not negligible, but certainly yeah. not insurmountable for Sheik. Oh. Ooh. I think that was a bit of a poor punish option. Yeah. Grab throw off stage would have been great. Uh, oh, really good. Choice there, like I'm avoiding that back air. All right. Yeah, at this point, when you're Mikkel, you just want to win War of Attrition until yeah, you get that exactly. You can take you can take a couple of percent. It's not a big deal. Oh yeah, for sure. You see bouncing fish, just go out there and trade with it with back air, you know, yeah. by all means. And then I mean, F -smash. The, the F smash maybe not something you want to get hit by over and over. But. <laughs> I, I I'm still impressed by how many of these he's hitting. Like, there's not really any reason to F smash. No. And he's still hitting them. Maybe that's why he is hitting them though. Yeah, it's I don't know. I would I probably would have got hit by that F smash. There's lots of that. Oh. I hate how that combos. That makes me so mad. Yeah. Alright. Jester looking real unhealthy now. Mikkel's still looking reasonably healthy. Hit him with the rapid jab. Oh, Packing on as much percent as possible. I feel like Jester needs to go off stage against Mikkel more. No, oh. This could be such a Sharking game. with that up air. Sharking again. Alright, Mikkel getting a bit uncomfortable. 50%. Fire right, dodges again, but no punish by Jester, but a grab. Another third one. Up there. It's so stale now, though. Definitely oh. 
That's really Randy up smash gonna cost him that set. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. But hey, it happens. Yep. It looked like he was coming back a little bit there too. Yeah, I was kind of excited to see that. Couldn't hold back. on. I don't know whether that was like an input error or just kind of like a panic. I don't know. 